This is Math Guy Zero, and I want to introduce you to Alliant International University and your online statistics support resources. We have a ton of them. It's for Alliant students only, right? It's on the Alliant portal. Therefore, only Alliant students will get to use this outstanding resource, if I do say so myself. And it's brought to you by the Academic Support and Tutoring Services. That's our official Alliant name. Our unofficial name is the Higher Achievement and Wisdom and Knowledge, also called the Hawk Tutoring Center. But I'm going to make this video as brief as possible. So what your statistics, your graduate level statistics course will cover, week one, the very first day, you're going to go over the basics of statistics, the undergraduate stuff. If you remember that stuff, let's see if you, what you remember. The different types of measurements. So a measurement... And statistic is called a variable, right? It can change from person to person, individual to individual, whatever it is you're studying, okay? And there's three kinds, right? Nominal, continuous, ordinal. I'm not going to explain them here. And then you're going to go over graphs. And remember, graphs are like frequency. What you're really doing is measuring something. When you measure something, you're actually counting units, right? So if a guy weighs... 195 pounds, you're, you're counting pounds by ones, one, one, one. So frequencies, measuring, you're all counting, right? It's just a numbers game. So that's the frequencies part. You're going to do frequency graphs, uh, and it all means the same. How many? How many in each group, that kind of thing. Here is the pie chart, pretty basic. You probably had that in ninth grade. It tells me right off the bat that the blue has the bigger number, more female instructors. And then you moved on to the bar graph. Same thing, the bar graph. The higher the bar, the more they were. So there were more silver here. And the least number was brown. Whatever it is they're measuring, I believe they're car colors. But again, this is high school stuff. And then you get into this special kind of bar graph. You'll notice that the x-axis down here is different. These are now intervals or ranges. This bad boy is called the histogram. And this is where your advanced statistics will start focusing. Because this histogram, if you somehow manage to squeeze these intervals to be smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, that normal histogram turns into that, right? The dreaded bell curve. Now, we added something to this bell curve. These numbers down here, you guys remember what they are? Those are z-scores. And we had a teacher here, God bless him. He used to teach you how to find the area under this, under this curve by using this formula. I am not kidding you. He would teach you guys this formula to figure out the area under the curve based on whatever the z-score was. It was a true nightmare. But we don't do that anymore. So back to this guy. And then immediately we hit you with what we call the empirical rule, right? This is the stuff. Again, I'm not going to explain this stuff. You're going to be able to look it up on your own leisure. But this is the empirical rule. It's very important. It's a huge rule, rule of thumb. I use it all the time. And then you get with the reject the null hypothesis or not. Okay, boom, 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 boom. So, are you guys confused yet? Are you lost yet? And remember, you're still in week one. Okay, this is the basics. This is the classes that are you're, you're in currently are very serious graduate level statistics courses. That's why we have such a robust resource for you online already. But we have you covered. Our Hawk tutors come highly recommended from their professors. Everybody knows them. They're very good at what they do. They're very easy to work with. I'm very proud to work with these young ladies and, and men. They are just really good at what they do. So we are taking two different approaches to offer you statistics support online. Okay, the vocabulary approach. We have everything in alphabetical order. I'm going to show you here in a second. And then that's the link there. And then our other approach is the curricular approach. By that I mean most, not all, most teachers will teach statistics in a specific order. Right? They start with the basics. They jump into the T-test and the ANOVAs. Uh, and then some of the, uh, the deeper ANOVAs or correlations multiple regression, interaction, structural equation modeling, all those those harder ones. But again, it depends on the teacher. 
our, our university on all six campuses currently we have approximately 15 different stats teachers and they all teach it a little bit different and some go deeper than others different programs go deeper than others and you know, I'm just gonna leave that up to you to figure that out but that's our curricular link so we're gonna do an example Okay, this is how to use the new online statistics support system. You get a question. What's the difference between a main effect and a simple effect in a factorial ANOVA? Oh my goodness gracious. There's so much in there that I don't know. What I'm gonna what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the vocabulary approach. So I would do this. Boom. I would take the words that I'm not sure of. Main effect. What the heck is a main effect? Same with simple effect, factorial and ANOVA. So the ANOVA is the name of the test, so let's go to the ANOVA page. Please hold. This is how you get to our website. It is under Student Services, and we're the Academic Support and Tutoring Services. Okay, here's our main page. It has all the important stuff. Again, if you need a tutor, let us know. And Online Teaching Support Resources. So we got the writing here, and then the stats is down here. But the stats that I'm about to show you is we go to statistics resources right there online statistics resources the hawk so we were gonna start with the vocabulary part let's go ahead and click over to the vocabulary and you're not sure what an ANOVA is you go to the A and then you scroll down to the ANOVA family at the end over there's a basic ANOVA so you can read about that blah 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 now I want to look to see what the factorial part means. I'm going to go back to the front page. And I go to the F for factorial. And a lot of F stuff. Yes, the letter F is very important in statistics. There's a reason for that. Okay, so factorial, factorial. Oh, who's that handsome rogue? Hey there, dude. There's factor, nope. Factor analysis, nope, nope. And factor, nope. Factor load, no. See how they throw the words around? It's all the same word, but it means so many different things. There's you right there, factorial ANOVA. Anything and everything you need to know. From soup to nuts, it gets from the very basics to the easy. It shows you how to do it by hand. Some teachers will make you do it by hand. Some will do it by SPSS. You can even do it by Excel. But we got videos on all of it. All three ways, okay? So... That is the factorial part. Now I want to see what, what does main effect mean? Go back to the main page. See, main starts with M. Main effect. Main. Oh, look at that right there. What? There it is right there. So there's the good definition of a main effect. And there's the amazing Dr. Wang from 13 years ago. So, and then look at that. There's even a main effect and a simple effect comparison. It tells you what the difference is. But I'm not 100% sure. I want to see what a simple effect is. So I'm going to go back up here to the main. And then I'm going to go to S for simple. I'm kind of simple. Simple, simple. Hey, it kind of rhymes. Simple, simple, Simon. Went into the pie, man. We're simple. Look at all that statistic goodness in there. Significance. The holy grail of statistics. Simple comparisons. Uh, not the same as simple effects. They're simple effects. So it breaks it down into every single vocabulary word that you don't get. If you find one, let me know. I'll put it in there. Now that was the vocabulary approach. Now we're going to do the curricular approach. We're going to go back to the home page. We're going to go to the curriculus. And I... It, it, we broke them down into specific curricular orders. So the introductory stats, stats right there, let's, let's take a quick look at that. Everything that we went over, you know, with the Z-scores and the P-values and the bell, brave bell curve, and a ton of everything else, like the basics of significance, if you haven't done that, some basic T-tests. This is all undergraduate stuff. Knock yourself out. There, there must be 50, 60, 70 videos right within these labels. And, but we're going to go to differences. This is where your college level, graduate level starts, right? Differences starts with T-tests, the ANOVA, right? So here's a one-way ANOVA, but you're looking at a uh, factorial ANOVA. Oh my gosh, there it is right there. Two-way factorial ANOVA breaks it down to into every little tiny thing. 
that you could do it. Do it one at a time. Knock yourself out. Let's look at the uh, main effects. Where's main effects? Main effects. Main effects. Oh, look at that right there. Main effects. There's the main effect definition. Go back here. And main effects. So you're going to learn about interaction. This makes everybody... Brings everybody to tears, including myself. Not that one. This interaction. Interaction. And, you know, there's a graphic. There's a video by hand. And I should probably put a video of SPSS in there, which I will now that I found this mistake. But we're going to go back here. Boom. And last case is you got practice problems, right? There's there's one, a two-way, which is the same thing as a factorial ANOVA. Using SPSS, doing it by hand. Some of your teachers will make you do it by hand. And here's a practice problem where you you could test yourself before your teacher does. And it's got a video answer in there. So, you know, knock yourself out. So now you know how to use the online statistics support resources for Alliant. You can answer these questions. So how do you get there? Good question. From the Alliant portal, you're going to go to Student Services. There'll be a drop-down menu. And we're usually the one right on top, Academic Support and Tutoring Services. Here is the URL to the front page of the Support Services. And then if you go down one, two, three, four links on that left-hand side of links, that's the one with the statistics, right? The online statistics support resources. Statistics resources for online support. Okay, you know what it is. Okay, that's it. So I hope this helps. MGZ out.